Today, I'm going to show you how to build free AI agents using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. And this is inside a tool called VectorShift. It's VectorShift.ai. That's where it's available. And from here, you can build different tools, apps, and agents, right? So, for example, this is actually one we've built with Seek previously. But the cool thing about VectorShift is, number one, you can build this out for free. And number two, it now has access to Claude 3.7 Sonnet. So, if we switch the model over here, I'm going to delete this from my pipeline. I'll show you how to build this from scratch, but we'll delete this for now. And then we're going to add a new LLM. So we'll connect a new module with AI, click Anthropic, put in the system instructions there, and then we're just going to connect our modules, right? And basically what this can do is create like free agents for whatever you're trying to automate directly inside VectorShift and it's completely free. So. If you want to connect something like, for example, we've got a chat memory here that we want to connect with our AI agent, which is right here, then we're just going to go with the curly brackets. We're going to tag in the chat memory. We've connected that now. And then finally, we're just going to connect this bad boy here. And what you can see is this is going to take our connection from a chat input, send it to Anthropic via Claude 3.7 Sonnet. You can use your own API key if you want, but obviously that's going to be paid, whereas this is completely free. The way that we're building it out now we've got knowledge bases over here we've got a chat memory so the chat remembers our messages and then finally we've got an output right so if we click on deploy changes we'll put claude 3.7 sonnet inside the ai agent and let me show you how this works step by step so if we go to our export we'll go over to run then we can test it out as a chatbot over here we'll say okay create some content and we'll say okay keyword equals seo training japan and select and now you can see the ai agent is taking the prompt it's using claude 3.7 sonnet to reply to us and this ai agent is just going to go off and start creating whatever we want now also inside the prompt section here you can see that it's taking the prompt so it's taking the prompt from my chatbot plugging that through claude 3.7 sonnet and then using that to create the content and now we've got the content back from the ai agent let me open this up so it's easier to see and that was incredibly easy show you what the output looks like so this is a blog creator but you can use this for whatever sort of process you use and all of this content was generated with claw 3.7 sonic completely for free i'm not paying for vector shift they do have a premium plan but you can just build one ai agent completely for free and that content is pretty much perfectly formatted ready to go it's also got internal links to our funnels and that couldn't have been easier to build out so let me show you exactly how to set these up and how to get these deployed. So I'm going to X off this. We'll delete all the nodes just so you can see how it works from start to finish. And we'll delete the output nodes as well. So if you want to build an AI agent from scratch, first thing you're going to start with is an input field. So you can see an input field right here. And this is basically the text from the chat. All right. So that's what's going to be used to trigger our workflow so the AI agent understands what we're talking about and the context. Then from here, we're going to select LLM. And because we're using Claude 3.7 Sonnet, we want to be using Anthropic. And then inside here, we would select Claude 3.7 Sonnet as a module. You can also see, for example, you get 3.5 Sonnet, Haiku, etc. But the latest model and the greatest model from Claude is 3.7 Sonnet. So that's the one we want to be using. And for the prompt, we're going to tag in the input. If you want to tag in the input, what you're going to chat about then just use the curly brackets like so click on that double click on it and you're good to go all right so we've already connected the chat input to the anthropic ai agent then whatever prompt or whatever you're trying to automate here you can plug it into the system instructions so i've actually got a prompt for creating content like you see right here is user source context from the knowledge base here's a keyword which is the chat prompt input and then to create the content here's what to do and make sure you use the memory too so that you remember any sort of back and forth that we have. All right, so inside the knowledge base, we're going to select a knowledge base here. You might say, why would you want a knowledge base? So a knowledge base is super useful because it's going to be using that to create the rest of the content and really understand what you're talking about and how the process works. So you see how it says use the source context from here. We're going to tag in knowledge base like so. That's tagged in and we're good to go. And if you're wondering, okay, how do you set up a knowledge base inside vector shift? Let me show you that in a new tab. So open this up, go to knowledge, 
And you can see we've added this knowledge right here. So you can, for example, like insert knowledge from URLs. You can also add documents. For example, we could click on add document inside the knowledge base, and then we could upload a document that we want to feed knowledge base for creating our AI agent. The more context, aka knowledge that you give the AI agent, the better the outputs. So for example, if I take my about me page, which is super useful for just training the AI about who we are, etc. I'll download that right now. Then we'll upload that into the knowledge base. So here we go. That's going to upload the document. And now that's going to feed in to our knowledge base, like you can see, right? So it's taken the document and the URL. Then once that is fully synced up, you're going to see a check mark right there, right? And also you can rescrape different web pages. So for example, if we say, I want you to use the knowledge from juliangoldie.com to create the content, then we can say, okay, scrape that every week because I update it regularly. So we've uploaded a document with about me information. We've uploaded a live URL that the agent can scrape anytime. And then if we go back to our pipeline here, we can now start using this to create content. All right. So it's going to connect to the knowledge base automatically. And then inside my prompt, I'm just going to tag that in. So under the use source context for creating the blog, we're going to tag in the knowledge base, like you can see, double click on that. So we don't get any errors. And then it's going to use that trained knowledge to create our content. And then from here, just to keep things really simple, we're just going to create a basic output, right? So the output is essentially what we want the content to be output from, right? So we're going to tag in the AI agent, which is Anthropic. So that's the module. We'll double click that and we're going to use the response from the AI agent. And you can see this is now connected nicely in a linear fashion, right? So you've got the inputs, which will be the chat bot. You've got the knowledge, which is going to be useful for creating the content. We're also going to add a memory section here. So if we go to chat memory, this is super useful. And also we need to tag in the keyword, which will be the input. So let's tag that in. And then for the memory, we're going to use that right there. All right. You might say, why would you want a memory? Because otherwise, if you're using a chatbot, for example, it's going to be super annoying if it forgets everything and you have to reprompt it every single time. All right. So we've deployed this now. If you want to deploy it, you just go to the deploy button, export it. And then if you want to run it before you fully export it, you can do that here. We can go to chatbot. And we can just run a test, right? So we've got the input and the output. And if we say, okay, keyword equals SEO training in Japan. So and uh, now Claude 3.7 Sonnet is being used in the workflow. It's processing the request. It's going to take a little bit of time because it's a reasoning model, but the output is so much better with Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And the cool thing about this is it's going to be way easier to use this inside a chat than it is inside like a project or that sort of thing, right? So. We can build and deploy chatbots. We can share this with our team and we can easily create content. Now we've got the content back, like you can see, we'll open that on a Google doc, just to show you the output. And this AI agent just creates content for us on autopilot. Let's see how long the content is. We've got 750 words right there and it reads pretty nicely. And all we did was just give it a keyword. That's it, right? SEO training in Japan, master the art of ranking in Japanese search, creates a nice little intro. It's all, it's all nicely formatted. We've got the headings throughout, nice bullet points. And that's pretty much ready to go as an output into WordPress. And that's the other thing you can do here. So if we X off the pipeline, we can go into integrations here and we can connect this to different apps, right? So for example, if I want to connect this to WordPress, I can do that over here. And then I can take the outputs automatically from the AI agent and publish that to WordPress. So we can just sign in with WordPress. So let's connect the account. And then once you've done that, you can automatically output to WordPress. Pretty simple to connect apps, which is great. The same with, for example, like Gmail, Google Calendar, Discord, etc., Google Sheets. Like there's so many different apps that you can connect inside this AI agent, which is absolutely awesome. And then once you have all of this, we can deploy the changes, hit deploy, go to export, and then just export it from here. Now, if you're on the free plan, just delete any chatbots you've got already. So for example, like this one, I'm just going to delete that. The other thing I would say as well is like previously I would use DeepSeek, but honestly, Claude 3.7's API is just 10 times better when it comes to this stuff. So from here, we're going to deploy this, go to export, export it as a chatbot, create the chatbot. We can customize it before we publish it. So I'll call this content creator bot, export that bad boy. 
And now we've got the chatbot ready to go, like you can see, and we can just create content whenever we're ready. So for example, if we put, okay, keyword equals SEO train in London. All right. Then this AI agent is going to start processing the request. And again, this is all free. It doesn't cost us any money. We can also, for example, embed it on our website. So you can take this code, embed it over to WordPress, pretty simple and easy to do. And if you wanted to use this as your own, like personal custom GPT, you can bookmark it, come back to it whenever you're ready. If you're watching, if you want to get access to the SAP step-by-step, -step, feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This comes with all my best trainings on AI, how to build agents, AI SEO automation, and tons of my best SAPs, plus a crash course on everything you'd ever want to automate with AI. On top of that, it comes with weekly calls with me, so you can jump on calls with me and ask me any questions, and an amazing community of 231 members that you can ask for help and advice. And prices are going up on the 10th of March. So make sure you sign up now and lock in your legacy price so that you save a lot of money if you sign up. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. And um, also, if you want a free SEO strategy session, we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot. And on this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a custom tailored link building plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, answer any questions you have, learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10x the SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments description. If you want more lead sales and customers from your website, this is a great thing to book in. Cheers, bye-bye.